drove here tonight, so I've got a feeling of deep inner peace. I'm at one with the universe, feeling a lot of love towards my fellow human. No, 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 not love. What's that other feeling? I want them to fucking die! Oh, I don't think anything makes me as angry as driving. The level of idiocy on display out there on the road every day boggles the mind. It's like it's the moron of the year competition and we're up to the elimination round. So they all want to prove they really are the biggest fuckwit out there. So I think a warning's in order. When I take over the world and I'm running things, and that will happen, when I'm in charge, there are going to be a lot less cars on the road. Not because I'm anti-car. I love cars. I'm just anti-fuckwit driver. So far as I can tell, the problem seems to be there are too many road rules. The rules are too complicated. People can't cope. Well, good news. When I'm in charge, things will be much simpler. There will be one rule. My rule. If you're a fuckwit, you're out. For example, if you cut across three busy lanes of traffic without indicating, you're out. If you tailgate someone who's doing the speed limit, you're out. If you block the overtaking lane while doing 10k below the limit, you're out. Did you spend more on your car stereo than you did on your car? Out. Do you drive a four-wheel drive? That's all the evidence I need. You're out. I'm serious. I will drag you bodily out of your fucking four-wheel drive, pick the fucking thing up with a fucking crane and drop it on your fucking head. Driving a four-wheel drive in the city is the equivalent of driving around with a neon sign saying, I am a moron who deserves to be force-fed cane toads until I choke. Four-wheel drive owners are evolutionary mistakes. I got stuck behind one today who decided he had to slow down almost to a complete stop to go over a speed bump in a four-wheel drive that's got about a metre ground clearance from that stupid raised suspension that means I can never see past it. Now, I know these morons are never taking their vehicle off-road. That goes without saying. But he's scared of a fucking speed bump? You should be able to take a speed bump in one of those things at about 80 and not feel a thing. If you are that scared of driving, STAY OFF THE FUCKING ROAD! And there was this other dickhead in a four-wheel drive who actually did have a sign saying, I'm a moron! Okay, it was a bumper sticker and it said, I hunt and I vote. Now, I'm not saying he's a moron just because he's a hunter. That may well qualify him, but that's not the only reason. The thing is, the sticker just doesn't make sense. That type of bumper sticker originates in the US, where voting's optional. And when voting is optional, nutjob lobby groups can have a fair influence, because if they can gather up enough angry knuckle-draggers to go out and vote, they can influence the result because of the comparatively low voter turnout overall. And wimpy politicians are far more likely to bow to a lobby group when that lobby group can influence an election result. This is Australia. You have to vote here. And when voting is compulsory, your stupid little I whatever and I vote sticker doesn't make sense. Everybody votes. You may as well have a sticker that says, I sodomize wallabies and I vote. It's that stupid. Why not try a sticker that actually says something? Like, I hunt and I'm extremely likely to shoot you if you interfere with my ability to gather enough guns to compensate for my incredibly tiny penis. <laughs> now, that would get some attention. And while I'm talking about people with tiny penises, truck drivers. 
truck drivers really piss me off too. What I can't stand is the way they'll always block the entire road. If there's two trucks and two lanes, they won't drive in single file and let everyone else go by. No, they'll drive side by side and block the entire road. And if there's three lanes, it's inevitable. All three lanes will be blocked by trucks. I drive down Footscray Road on my way to work. Four lanes in each direction. Every single fucking day. All four lanes are blocked by trucks. Oh, and while I've got a head of steam going, just let me say this. There's one platitude that I actually subscribe to, and that is, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. So, don't come to me saying these hard-working professional drivers keep this country running, okay? There are plenty of freight alternatives that don't involve me having to put up with deranged speed freaks every time I get in my car. And if you are the exception, you're a decent, honest, hard-working truck driver, you're never aggressive, never obnoxious, Never tried to kill innocent people on the roads? I don't care. You go out, fix the 98% of asshole truck drivers who are causing the problem, then come back and tell me how good you are, okay? Because I don't want to be blamed for something that's not my fault. Fix the source of the problem, okay? The problem is not that most people hate truck drivers. The problem is that most truck drivers are soulless pig fuckers. They are nothing but socially maladjusted, drug abusing fuckwits who want to make everyone else's life a misery simply because they have a tiny penis. And yes, I include female truck drivers in that group. 